Hey guys, welcome back to a little bit of everything with Erin. Today we'll be doing a quick tutorial with our Silhouette Cameo showing how to do a print and cut of chalkboard fonts. Now you can go online and find different fonts and you can download those that have that chalkboard feel but if you're looking at a specific font that you already have and you want to fill it to look like chalkboard uh, this would be the best way to do it. Now you will need to have the upgraded version you would need Silhouette Designer to do this. You can find it on Amazon. I have a link to one in my store if you want to click on that in the description box below. So I've already gone ahead and typed up some letters. The first thing you want to do is when you're typing your words is make each word its own line. And by that I mean don't type Merry Christmas, you filthy animal all in one go. Make each one its own. That way you can change it how you want. Then you'll go ahead and pick the different fonts that you want. You can use all the same or you can change it up as I did in this one. If you use anything that's in cursive, make sure that you select it, right click and hit weld. And if it has a letter that's broken like the I, you'll want to make sure that you group that after you weld it. You'll also want to change the cut line to white. And I do this because I'm going to bring in an image I found on Google of a chalkboard. I'm just going to enlarge that and send it to the back. Now it's easier for me to see what the image will look like once printed. So I'm going to click on the first word, Mary, here. And I'm going to go down to my sketch panel. And I'm going to click on one of the edge sketches. We'll go with this first one here. And then you can fit, pick a fill sketch. And depending on that fill, it'll tell, let you know by not doing anything if it can fill it or not. So I'll do the next one and the next fill. Sometimes it's hard to grab that letter because of how the background is so close. I'm just going to use all of them so you can kind of see what they all look like. Again, this works best if you're doing like a print and cut so that you can see it easily. And we'll just zoom in here. You could even go online on Google and find some backgrounds or, I don't know, chalkboard residue. And you could use your fill option in the options right here in your colors. So you have fill for regular colors. You have the fill for the colors that are gradient. And then you have your fill, which kind of looks to me like scrapbook paper you could add that in here too for a chalkboard and fill the letters with that as well so i hope that made sense if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below i do try to go to those quickly if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and if you hit the bell you'll get notifications anytime i post new videos if you have an idea of a video i should be doing, let me know in the comments about those too. I do appreciate your feedback. Until next time, guys, happy crafting!